Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for checking me out and coming back um, to kind of hang with me today. Today I am doing a totally random video. I feel like most of mine are because I literally get a thought and I'm like, oh, I gotta film that or I wanna bring that to you guys or I wanna share that with you. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, I was kind of doing an inventory, I guess. I don't know if you call it, um, of my like fall scents and fall candles. And of course it's so basic and cliche this time of year. It's not even, I guess it's mid-August. It's not really the end, end of August and I'm already like, and everyone's already like, oh my God, fall, fall, fall. And a lot of people get pissed because they're like, this is ridiculous, like let us have summer. But now that I live back in the East Coast, A, we get a fall and B, the kids have been in school since like the beginning of August. So I guess I'm really feeling like I want fall or I feel like fall is coming sooner because it just is here. Um, Cause we actually get a fall, like I said, and the kids have been in school and I feel like summer has just been over here. Um, when you see the buses out and you see the kids going onto the school buses and the traffic's busier and it's just, it's like business as usual or business as normal again. So I guess I'm feeling it a little more, but anyway, there's been so many YouTube videos and everything and Instagram posts on fall decor and fall, fall, fall. And maybe it also makes people mad because I get it too. Like you feel like you're there throwing it down your throat. You know, when you go out now and see Christmas stuff already, that I'm not cool with. That I'm like, all right, give us a break. We haven't even got through summer and you're pushing Christmas. So I get that. But fall, I kind of, you know what? I think last year it hit me because I waited till like mid to end of September to put on my fall decorations because I live in the South now and it's like totally again the cliche you know I have my front porch and I can decorate all that stuff and now that I have a little girl and she doesn't know now but she will and I just think it's cute and it's fun and it's something we'll just do as tradition together decorate you know the porch and do the pumpkins and the little hay barrels and the you know just whatever it's fun so who am I kidding I do it mostly for me but now that I have a kid I have an excuse so um you know I do feel like I get in that mood to do that when fall comes and last year I did and it was because I was like no this is ridiculous and I was like I'm waiting I'm waiting I'm waiting and I waited and by the time I had time to enjoy it and I finished with it it was like Halloween decoration time and I wanted enough block of time for my Halloween porch decorations anyway totally long-winded but you know what I'm saying um I do feel like the beginning of September I do want to decorate sooner for my house and do you know I don't do a ton of decorations for fall I don't I have a few like random little white pumpkins and everything's monochromatic and clean. I mean, I don't do any oranges or any crazy stuff. I do more fun stuff for Halloween, but for fall, I really don't. I keep it pretty basic, but so I, um, in this really long and drawn out explanation is what I'm saying is I was going through my candles in my closet upstairs, in our linen closet, I have a section for all my candles in the shelves. And I was like, you know what, what do I have in the way of candles that are like stored away that I haven't seen because I have a ton. And I was shocked, guys, by the stuff I had that I didn't know I had. And I was like, I have to share this with you guys because you're really interested. And I guess my channel's turning into a candle channel or a fragrance channel. But I mean, I go back and forth in makeup and home decor, which I want to do more of, more home decor too. But there are things I love. So let's be honest, I'm going to bring it to you and you guys seem to be loving it and relating and feedback. So this is really long. I need to move on. So I found a few gems that I wanted to bring to you guys and mention. You may have them or you may have seen them. Um, that's just something, again, fun to bring to you guys and we can relate or you can say, oh, I wanna look for something similar this year. So when I was up there, I, this is just a, well, let's start here. So the Joe Malone realm, let's go there. I found this and I remember I got this, I think a, one or two Christmases ago. This is the Joe Malone um, roasted chestnut. And this is not fall, this is more Christmas. Again, you can totally burn it whenever the colder months are or the cooler months are. But this is really pretty and I believe, I'm 90% sure that this is a limited one that they came out with or they come out with um, just for the holiday season. And I do believe this is around Christmas. I don't, believe, I don't believe it comes out as early as fall, but this is beautiful and it's roasted chestnut and I haven't even burned it because I had another one. I had a small one and I did burn through that, but I hadn't gotten to this one. So I was like, I need to bring this out this colder weather season, I guess, you know, come October, November, December and burn that. So that I saw and I was like, oh, I forgot I had that. And then, so I saw that, this is still boxed in beautiful Christmas packaging, of course, from who else but my mother from last Christmas. And I'm like, well, what is this? So it's like Christmas all over again, which is sad. That's how much stuff I have that I don't use. But look at the inside of that box. 
Okay, remember I was saying how they do incredible stuff? Like, look at that packaging. So these were like special gift packagings for, so then it comes with a foam, and it's not even open, guys. This is just pathetic. And hi, did not even know I had this. This is sad, guys. And I said, I thought this was from last <laughs> Christmas. It says, Merry Christmas, Ashley and Brad. That's my husband's name. 2014. Still smells amazing. And this is the Frosted Cherry and Clove. Guys, I didn't even know I had it. Sad day. Really sad day. Because this is beautiful and I am just a hoarder. It's clear I hoard fragrance candles and everything else in my life. But I really am not a hoarder. It's just this stuff I can't get enough of, clearly. And my mom gifted me this. And see, there's the engraving. Totally 2014. Wow. Anyway, it's beautiful. It's like etched with almost like pine, like frosted pine, like leaves. I don't even know. It's so pretty. And then as you can see, there's still plastic on the top. So this was a beautiful gift. Thanks, mom. I'm sure I thought thanked you when I got it, but rethanking you, ridiculous. So that's amazing. And I didn't even know I had it. And that's again, a Joe Malone. And so pretty in that box with the little bow. And again, it's like a little frosted berry on there that matches that whole that whole look. So, so cute. I was so excited to find that. And I was like, I'm totally bringing this out for Christmas. And like I say that all the time, then I put it away again because I just do and that's bad. But anyway, okay. So I wanted to share those. Um, did I tell you what scent that was? Yeah, I did. I did, right? I'll put it down below. Okay. Because we need to move on because I'm just really long-winded per usual. Um, and then I found this that my mom told me was like super hard to get. And she had gotten from me a few years ago. And it is the... Diptyque, the, sorry, it's kind of banged up the box. It's the, what is it? The Carousel Metal metal Rotary Candle Holder. Have not used this, but was told by the guy at Diptyque, like, oh my God, you have one of those? And I was like, yeah, she doesn't even realize what she has that I've given her. And he's like, you need to use that because it is sold, it was sold out the second it came and blah, blah, blah. It's like a big deal. So it is like a little pinwheel that goes on here. If you can envision that, I don't have the time to do it all and put it all together. But then these little birdies hang off. I guess you call them the other birds. Hang off all these little holes on there. And then it goes around like this in this little pivot by the heat, the light of the flame for the smaller candles, the smaller diptyque um, little votive candles. How stinking cute is that? Amazing, never used it, forgot I had it. So along those lines again, but it comes with a bunch of those birds and then you just kind of put it around the carousel and the carousel will go around by the heat um, and I guess the flame of the little load of candles. So found that upstairs, it was like, Jim, this is amazing, need to use it. So these are the cool things that come out. Like again, this is why I'm doing this because I can share with you guys. Get your hands on these things when you can because they're limited edition and again, when they're there, they're there. When they're not, they're not. So from what I understand, this is a pretty amazing thing to have. So comment below if you have it. Tell me if you use it and you love it. So super cool. Moving on, Diptyque. I randomly found this box. I should show you that I stored a bunch of my Diptyques. I didn't even know I had them in here. Um, but just to show you again, some limited edition. This is the, um, again, the rose, one of the rose limited edition one still in the packaging. And I save these because I do use these. These are like gems to me because once you get them, you can't get them again. And they are all more beautiful and amazing than the next. This one I have burned. This is the second one of that. Rose Monday. So I guess this is fine, right? This is like my back stock. You're allowed to have back stock, right? That's not a hoarder. Shh, don't tell me I am. Okay. This is just another base because I just collect that. I live for that. That's like my home 101 fragrance. And then this, I don't know if I've talked to you guys about before. This is the Palm Beach. Um, and this is when they did those limited edition ones. I don't know if I showed you guys. I don't know if I have another one. I showed it in a previous video. But anyway, this is the Palm Beach one. And I love that. And this is the second one of this one I have. So this is technically back stock too. But I just wanted to show that. And it's beautiful because it's a black. It's a, it looks exactly like it does in the box. It's like a black frosted with the white PB on the front. And they had like Montauk Highway, I think. And a few. I think it was like three in that set. And then that's just a lid. And then this is a cute little duo. I think I got this. I think I got this on Hot Look a little bit ago. And this is just a little duo, um, Bay and Two Bros, because these are two of my favorites and I can never find two together. I totally don't need it. I have so many of these little ones, but 
Love that. That was a cute, and that's an awesome, awesome gift set. Like, I would die if someone gave me that as a gift. So, um, and this is Amber. I have not burnt Amber, so tell me if you guys have. This is a regular one I think they have. Um, always had or have, whatever. Um, but I haven't tried it, so let me know if you like it. Intrigued to find out. And then another Christmas one. This one I got, correct me if I'm wrong, last Christmas or the year before. Um, and this, again, they do the Christmas special kind of limited edition ones, and this one's so pretty. And this was the only one I remember that I smelled and I liked from this collection. Yeah, it's really Christmassy. It smells like um, balsam fir, kind of, kind of balsam fir, and what is the exact fragrance? I don't know what I'm to say. I just know, yeah, see, it has the Christmas tree um, on the front, so it's just like a fir tree kind of Christmas. I just like those traditional Christmas tree, balsam, fir, whatever have you, you know, those kind of traditional Christmas scents. I don't really branch out with like the sweet, you know, cranberries and things like that. I don't traditionally love those. So anyway, that's all of that. And then I wanted to mention this. This is not Jo Malone or Diptyque, but I forgot I had this and this smells amazing. And I was in the cosmetic store. We have one here in Buckhead in um, Georgia. And it's just a freestanding like um, NARS um, makeup store and it's just only NARS store and they were burning this. I'm like, what is that? I'm like, oh my God, I forgot I have this because I have this over on my husband's side because it's really kind of, I don't know if you can see the NARS. It's masculine, it's black, it's sleek, it's cool. And I have so many dang candles that I was like, this one can go on his side of his vanity on, in our bathroom. And it's the Monoi M-O-N-O-I candle and it was burning there. I'm like, I need to burn this. I've never burned it. I just have it over on his side. And it smelled amazing. It's like the beach, like tropical, but rich and masculine cologne too. It is so pretty. So if you guys can get your hands on this, if you have a NARS boutique, I don't know where else they sell it. Maybe they sell it at Nordstrom, um, but I know the NARS boutique, I hope still sells it because I just saw it recently, but the Manoi candle, oh my gosh. I was like, I need to burn that. She's like, oh yeah, this is this. I'm like, I think I have that. And I came home and I was like, oh, I totally have that. It's just over where my husband's is and he would never know to light a candle because that would just be effort and he wouldn't make that. So. Anyway, <laughs> then I want to mention, this is totally basic, but I just want to see if any of you guys relate or are going to totally shame me, which is fine. I'm putting the lid back on that. Um, but when I think of fall, sorry, I'm putting that down. It is so basic, and you guys are going to probably hate me, all of my bougie uh, fragrance followers and candle brand followers, and all of you guys that are like Jo Malone, jo Malone diehards and Diptyque diehards. And Anyway, I live... For the Bath and Body Works leaves and it's sad to admit it and I have tried I have tried I mean I have so many like fig and I mean I have so many diptyques that are just unit you know universal like they're not fall scents you know you can use them anytime like my more wintry ones my heavier woody ones from all different you know high-end brands like Jo Malone diptyque yada yada so I'll burn those all the time and I'm like some of them are awesome for you know those more colder months but there is something <laughs> about that leaves and I it's Bath and Body Works and I know it's like oh my god it's made of crap material like the wax is bad it's bad blah 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 like these are so high end and beautiful I said and I know it obviously I'm a big fan of the higher end fragrance but something about that dang leaves fragrance I will just tell a quick story because that's what I do and I really really bore you with stories so turn off here if you don't want to hear the story but real quick lived in California you know I just moved back to the east coast um but was in california like 12 years and my husband and i had a small condo there and every time fall would come it was the thing i missed the most because having grown up uh, grown up in new england we had insane falls and we obviously didn't have those in california and i was just dying every time fall would come i'm like this is not fall i just want to feel like i can go to an apple orchard and pick an apple and it's not like a pumpkin patch in a parking lot where kids are playing on hay bales that are set up in a parking lot so every year the only thing that literally would transport me to make me feel that way was when I burned that candle in our condo, that Lee's candle. And it's obviously, I'm not the only one, it's like the number one selling Bath & Body Works candle, but I'm telling you there was nothing like it. I wish a brand like Diptyque would come out with, I mean, you guys are probably like, why? It's cheap and smells like crap. So that's fine. You, you stay in your lane, you do what you do, I get it. I don't hate on you for that, because it's true, I get it. It's Bath & Body Works, really? How are you even comparing the two? And I'm not. But I'm just saying for me personally, I cannot get away from that in the fall. And I will burn my other ones and I will start burning, but I always go back to that. And I'm like, every time people come to my home, they're like, what is that? It smells like fall. It's so amazing. And I love it. And I love it. And it makes me feel 
like fall has arrived, I'm in the woods, the leaves are changing. It's just my favorite. It really is for the fall. And like I said, I'll burn everything else, but I keep going back to it. I'm not gonna lie that there's maybe 14 in my closet upstairs. Leaves, candles, maybe 14. Like I can't get them again. Like they're not the number one selling candle. So there's probably thousands in like four of the boutiques or boutiques are in boutiques, Bath and Body Works around me. Get a grip, Ashley, right? Yeah, I know, I have issues hoarding at its finest, but I just live for it and I literally burn through them that much because I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And it just makes me feel like fall. So if you can relate or if you wanna make fun of me, go ahead guys, comment away, let me know. But I live for leaves, Bath and Body Work, true story. This is my tell all today and I'm admitting it because why not put it out there, you know, own it. Um, so anyway, that was my really long-winded, long, -winded, long blah, blah, blah video, but I just wanted to bring, again, I find these things, I think of these things, I have little snippets of time here and there where I get freedom, where I just wanna come talk to you guys, like I always do, I don't shut up, and share a few goodies with you. If you have any of these, if you love any of these, if you like that amber, let me know, if you burn that, um, or you hate or love leaves, let me know. Thanks so much. And you know what, I do love leaves, but I'm not into the others, like the pumpkin, pecan, waffle, people are, like, all oh, that's nauseating. And that's the thing, this leaves, I don't get sick of every year, I burn like 15 of them and I don't get sick of them. So that says something, right? I mean, it's not as gross and cheapy smelling like all the others, like all their pineapple leaf ones and like a lot of the spring ones. Like I don't love those, I don't. But leaves, you know, shut up, right? I keep talking. Anyway, love you guys. Thanks so much for coming back. Um, subscribe or let anyone know that may be interested in my videos and just wants to hear me ramble. I love, love, love you. Thanks so much for coming back and watching me and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.